Yo, what's up, YouTube? Uh, today we are reacting to uh, a Hip Hop Dailies video on the Lil Durk home invasion. And I'm extremely excited to watch this video to learn more about it because uh, I only saw a brief post on Instagram. And I'm not going to say anything because the intro will do that. The video will do that for me. Let's get right into it. Chicago Drill has influenced the entire world, but all the hype and violence surrounding the genre has brought a lot of negative attention to some of its leading voices. Lil Durk and King Von are two of the most popular figures to emerge from the Chicago Drill scene, but they've also had to go through a lot because of their celebrity and gang affiliation. King Von ended up getting killed and beefing with another rapper, and now it seems like some old street beef is coming back up. Lil Durk has lost countless people in his crew to gun violence, and now he's allegedly been involved in a shootout that led to his house being raided by the FBI. Here's the whole story. Despite having gone through some ups and downs in his career, Lil Durk is- Wait, the FBI raided him because of this shootout? Oh, fuck. Outlasted many of his ops and established himself as one of the most respected rappers in Drill. Durk was part of the OG wave of Chicago Drill artists who created the genre along with Chief Keef, another artist from the South Side, and has continued to change his sound to fit the times and grow as an artist. He's also a genuine street dude who's respected by the game for really coming from the bottom and turning it into a multi-million dollar brand and music empire. But despite all his success, Durk has had a dark cloud hanging over his career that seems to follow him everywhere. His ongoing beef for ops from Chicago has led to many people closest to him getting killed. His cousin OTF Nunu, aka Nooski, was shot and killed back in 2014 in the deadly war between OTF and another Chicago set called 051 Money Game. The year after that, Dirk would lose his manager Chino in the same beef. Then, in 2020, Dirk would lose his close friend and collaborator King Von in a shooting outside a hookah lounge in Atlanta, and his brother D-Thing would be killed this past June in a shooting outside a nightclub near Chicago. Check out our video on the curse surrounding Lil Dirk for more info on these situations. But if losing his brother wasn't bad enough, Dirk's home was recently raided by the FBI after an alleged shootout that took place in the gated community where he lives. Not long after blowing up, Dirk moved to Atlanta to focus on music and avoid all the violence going on in Chicago. But just because you move doesn't mean you can escape all the smoke. According to the Georgia Bureau of Investigations, around 5 a.m. on Sunday, July 11th, Lil Dirk woke up and found someone trying to break into his house in the Chateau Alain neighborhood of Brazelton, Georgia, which is about an hour outside of Atlanta. Dirk was home with his girlfriend and baby mama India when they heard someone kick down the door and they both started firing. It hasn't been reported whether anyone was hit, but a 5 a.m. shootout obviously caught the attention of the neighbors. Later that morning, Dirk's home was raided by the FBI because of the shooting <coughs> and related crimes after the neighbors reported it to police and media outlets. The raid also came just after the murder of KTS Dre, a rapper who was affiliated with the Gangster Disciples. The 31-year-old rapper was being released from a Chicago jail and he was ambushed by ops and shot 64 times. He and three other victims were brought to the hospital, and Dre was pronounced dead at the scene. The yeah, rapper no was the brother shot. of another Chicago street legend named KTS Vaughn, who was also murdered in 2015. It was clearly a targeted shooting, and the brutality makes it seem personal. It's possible that the break-in at Dirk's home was related to KTS Dre's murder, and police questioned him about it when they came to investigate. No arrests were made, but the fact that his home was raided by police after he was the victim of a home invasion shows that they might see the shootout as possibly gang-related. It doesn't seem like anything was stolen, and at this time, the break-in is assumed to be a targeted hit, not a robbery. Having survived the streets of Chirac- What? It was a targeted hit? Mm. What, did they think my boy was lacking like that? Wow. Dirk knows that he has to stay strapped at all times because if he's caught lacking, it's over. He's seen too many of his close friends and family get taken just because they let their guard down for a second. So at this point, he knows to be protected for anything. Luckily, the rapper was able to hear them coming and defend himself before he lost it all. But it must take a mental toll on you to always be on the defensive, even at 5 a.m. in a gated community. Dirk might get into some trouble for being a convicted felon and having a weapon, but Georgia has pretty relaxed gun laws and there's clear evidence that he acted in self-defense, so the cops should let it go. But Dirk may have to leave that neighborhood and invest in his own compound somewhere secluded. Because if he's going to continue to diss his ops and songs and carry on the beef while he's a world-famous rapper, he has to be ready for war at all times. Oh but God. Dirk isn't the only rapper making headlines. It was just announced that police named King Von is one of the main suspects in the murder of Chikara Barnes, a.k.a. K.I., the deadliest female shooter in Chirac history. K.I. was a member of the STL-EBT set of the Gangster Disciples, who were at war with the O-Block set of the Black Disciples. 
Hey, I and King Von were sworn ops, but had mutual respect for each other. Some have even suggested that there may have been a romantic relationship between the two. Hey, I and Von yeah. were known to send shots at each other on social media, where they would threaten each other while flirting at the same time. King Von even appeared in an A&E documentary about K.I., where he admitted that he thought she was cool and once tried to get with her. Yeah, she just like, like me. She's cool. And yeah, she was cool too. I was trying to call yeah, I was trying to cuss. I was like, damn. <laughs> but because of their affiliations, it was a relationship that... You think he said it just like that? Damn. Let me fuck you and shit. Like... What? But I feel like he really did say it like that. Like, I'm... Not even... I'm not joking. Like, no meme at all. I think he said it like that. That's hilarious. And and that's 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 gangster. More than anything, that's just straight gangster. That can never really happen. Despite being a female, KI was one of STL EBT's deadliest shooters. She's alleged to have been responsible for the murders of twelve different people, including members of O Block. One of her alleged victims was a BD named Odie Perry. She's alleged to have killed twelve people. Just let that th let that sink in. Twelve. Whose death inspired the name O Block. OD was a respected member of the BDs who went by the name Wick City at the time, and his death was one of the events that sparked the war between O Block and STL EBT. When her 13 year old cousin Taekwon was killed after getting hit with a stray bullet, KI changed her Twitter handle to Taekwon Assassin and really started going crazy <coughs> on the street. She was well respected in her set and feared by ops. At one point, she became so well known in the city that people tried to hire her for hits. Someone ended up leaking her Twitter DMs on 4chan, and one conversation showed that someone had offered her money to kill G Herbo. This may have just been a troll, but it shows how well known she was as a shooter. But just because Insane. KI was a female didn't mean that she was off limits when it came to payback. Yo, how much? No one. How much was it? Just because G Herbo. How much was it? To kill on 4chan. Hold oh, on, oh, chat. I have to get really close to my computer here. Uh, uh, 10k it's 10k for g herbo in what is this 2014 five up front do my no my whole neighborhood had their power go out for the last three days and finally got it back up today hey yo what that, that's what's up torch you joined at a really weird time where I had to get really close to my screen. Um, uh, we're watching a video on the Lil Durk's home invasion, and somehow, uh, I assume to get more length out of this video, he is now talking about uh, how King Von uh, was, uh, uh, the police confirmed that he was uh, allegedly killed uh, this female assassin right here. Uh, you'll watch the video. You'll catch up when it's posted. And and one conversation showed that someone had offered her money to kill G Herbo. I'm glad you got your internet back, though. But it shows how well known she was as a shooter. But just because Ki was a female didn't mean that she was off limits when it came to payback. No one in the streets of Chicago was truly safe, especially when you're the one putting in the work. And Ki was tragically killed on April 11, 2014. She was walking down Eberhard Ave in the south side and was shot nine times in the jaw and neck. For a while, Ooh. KI's murder remained unsolved. Police knew that the suspect was a hooded figure, but they weren't able to identify who it was. Now, seven years later, the Chicago PD announced that they believe it was King Von who pulled the trigger. Apparently, they suspected <laughs> it was Von all along, but not long after KI was killed, Von would be involved in a separate murder investigation over the death of a man named Malcolm Stuckey. Von allegedly killed Stuckey at a house party after the victim was giving him dirty looks. Von recruited the help of another O Block member named Big Mike, and they were both arrested for the murder. At first, Mike flipped on Von and told police that he was the man behind the trigger, but at the last minute, Mike refused to testify, and the case fell apart. Von was able to walk free, and Big Mike was sentenced to 28 years. I wonder why he decided not to testify. Hmm. He's in prison for refusing to testify. Check out our video on rappers who beat a murder charge for more info on this case. For a while, it seemed like Vaughn was going to face some serious time for allegedly killing Malcolm Stuckey, which is why the Chicago PD didn't pursue him as a suspect in the KI case. But years later, after Vaughn was killed in an unrelated incident, they decided to name the rapper as KI's killer. It's not clear why the police decided to release this information now, 
but it's possible they may use it to build a case against other members of O Block. Dirk is still fighting an attempted murder and gun charge after a shooting that occurred in a parking lot in Atlanta that included King Von. If they decide to launch a full Rico case. case against OTF or O Block, like they've been doing to other rap groups at war right now, they could try and use Von's past crimes as a way to paint the group as a violent criminal organization. As of yet, no such charges have been announced, and Dirk was not arrested for anything after the raid. But the rapper definitely has to watch his back, because any wrong move could mean death or jail. If you thought this video was crazy, Ooh. be sure to check out our channel for more. That's like, that has to be such a stressful life. You know, yeah, who, like, who, who gives a fuck that you're rich? You know, every day you have to worry about being caught slipping, not having your gun on you. Worried about someone trying to kill you. But at that same time, you being a felon, you're not even allowed to be around a handgun or firearms. I guess that's why I moved to Georgia. Uh, and, 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 like, legally, like, you're, like, you're toting such a, th a, th a thin line legally. Like, that has to be such, like, a stressful, toll, like, mental toll, you know? That's insane. Oh, fuck. I learned a lot in this video. I hope you guys did, too. Uh, my rap videos seem to do kind of well on this channel. Um, I hope you guys liked the video. Uh, I'm sorry uh, I turned an eight-minute video into... Almost 12 minutes here, but, uh, you know, I like to get my two cents in, and I like to, uh, you know, say what I like, say what I have to say about the video. Um, any closing thoughts I have about the video? Um, I don't think he mentioned that, um... Yo, what up, Warriors? What's going on? What up, Tino74? What's going on? What's going on? What's up, Fuji Racer? Um, what's going on, guys? I'm just uh, clothing thoughts on this video. Um, oh, what they didn't mention in this video is that Dirk and his baby mama both busted back as soon as the assailants um pointed weapons at them and started firing. They both clapped back at the they like that's some that's some that's some fucking um that's some uh Mr. and Mrs. Smith type shit, bro. That shit's hilarious. I don't I don't beyond me why someone would try and fucking Try Dirk like that. But he said it was an assassination, so assassination attempt. So I guess I guess they were ready, but not that ready. Crazy.